Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I will be taking you on a tour of this incredible home in Shooting Star. A couple of our clients got this property under contract and we're doing this as a tour for them to get a better feel for this property since they did the whole thing remotely. And before we start this video, I'd like to thank the listing agent, Kyra Haycock at Equity Real Estate for allowing us to get this property under contract and provide you with this tour. So tag along and we'll show you this incredible home. So this property sits on a quarter acre. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom and has a three car garage and it was built in 2022. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and take a look and see what's inside this beautiful home. This home has a modern design in the exterior. The driveway has a little bit of a slope. And you get some pretty great views from the front yard and it has a pretty sizable backyard as well so before we go inside let me show you the space for parking by the way for those of you that are new around here please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos here we talk about all things southern utah and all things real estate that took me long enough to get to a corner of this property so there's actually plenty of side parking right beside this RV garage, or not the RV garage, the regular garage, but you could park an RV on a side. Um, there is a little bit of a slope, however, so pulling in a boat trailer could be a little bit tricky. However, um, it's not impossible. Take a look at this width. There's easily, I would say, 15 to 20 feet from the fence to the edge of that garage. This is lots and lots of side parking. I really like the gray stucco with the white rock. I really like the entire color combination of this home. It is a corner lot, but neither of these streets is very busy. It is a pretty quiet subdivision that kind of has few streets that connect uh, the neighborhood, but nothing, you know, nothing that gets heavy traffic or anything like that. So this side of the home is relatively open and it has two AC units right here. And then the backyard is fenced off right there. So the backyard is enclosed. Okay. And I'll give you guys an idea of your neighbor's properties. And there's the blue truck. So the home has a grand entry with this kind of a balcony looking add on at the top. A nice modern looking front door. As soon as we enter, there's a combination of LVP and carpet. The room immediately to our right can be used as an office or a den. It does not currently have doors, but that could be fixed pretty easily. Give you guys another angle of the front entry. A nice chandelier and a front door. And this is the front room. I just call it the front room because it can be whatever, whatever you want it to be. I would probably use it as an office. Really nice modern light fixtures throughout this entire property. And then the entry to the master is to our left. And this is the staircase that will take us upstairs. But let's explore the living room first. So this property has a really good size living room with LVP throughout. There's a massive window to the backyard, a door, and another window in the dining kitchen area. The kitchen is finished with white cabinets and 
and oak finish on the center island. And the countertops look like quartz or some sort of manufactured stone. They actually look really, really nice. The cabinets are, of course, soft clothes, as well as the drawers. It looks like we have, really hard to tell what type of dishwasher this is. It's a General Electric. General Electric dishwasher and a General Electric gas range and a microwave. really nice to be able to have a gas range. I really feel like there's a substantial difference between gas or an electric cooktop. There is a sizable pantry. And an opening for a refrigerator right next to it. I'll give you guys another view of this massive living room. There are three pendant lights up above the center island. And I really, really, really like the way the center island kind of breaks things up. Really good color combination between the browns on the center island and the flooring. And these uh, cabinets are soft clothes as well, of course. There's a little coffee bar right here, right off to the side that kind of separates the kitchen and the dining and the living area. And there is a closet that goes under the stairs. And it looks like it has plenty of room for, I guess I would use it probably as a utility closet. While we're here, let's check out the laundry room and the garage. Laundry room has a little built-in in in the mudroom with storage for shoes and hats and a couple of hooks. Directly across, we have a powder bath with a nice modern light fixture, really tall ceilings. And we're continuing with that same theme with the lower cabinets and some really cool tile on the floor. Directly across, you have a laundry room with plenty of cabinets, lots of uppers, some lower cabinets, LVP flooring continues throughout. And take note, you have an option for either a gas, there's a gas line right there, or an electric dryer. So there's your washer and dryer hookup. I would say the only thing that's missing here is a rod. Some people like to have a clothing rod so they can hang things up. But other than that, it's great. The garage has really tall ceilings, but you kind of step down into it. I think because of the uh, lot elevation, they had to kind of dig down for the garage. Sorry, there's a little bit of construction noise outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So there's a two car bay on the right side and a single car bay on the left side. And the stairs dive into your, uh, your garage space a little bit on this side. So let's take a closer look over here. So these two steps take away a little bit. So I would say you probably have about maybe 18 feet from here to the end. But if you had, you know, your, you had a a lifted truck or something like that, your tire could be right here and your bumper could be over this step. So it is possible to park something slightly longer. The pro is that this garage actually goes a ways back and take a look at this storage area. You store all kinds of things here. This storage closet, is the size of one of the bedrooms. Wow, it's quite big. So you lose a little bit of length on the parking, but you gain this massive closet in the back of this garage. 
And I'll give you guys another view from this corner. So here you have your two car bay, space for the water heater. And there is a bypass loop to install a water softener later, which I would highly recommend. Some nice lighting and really tall ceilings in this garage. So you don't have to worry about the lift on your truck. Let's head back inside and explore the rest of this home. There is our first uh, HVAC zone right here. I would imagine it controls either all of the first floor or maybe the living room. Let's see if the master bedroom has its own zone. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There's another closet right here. So this is like a nice coat closet because it's right off the front door. Master has really nice tall ceilings. And there's a window that opens to the backyard. So the lot behind us doesn't have a block wall yet, but there will be a block wall right here, providing a lot more privacy from the rear neighbors. There's definitely enough room in here for a king size bed. I would imagine that you would probably want to put the TV on this wall if you have a TV in this room and your bed would go on this wall. So you'd have enough room for the nightstands. And this is the master bathroom. Has nice large tile floor with, uh, I think those are eight by 20 maybe tiles. Matching cabinets through here. Dual vanity, some nice modern light fixtures. nice soaking tub with a window that's not frosted. I would imagine you want some window coverings because that tub has a window that opens to, uh, to a corner of the street basically. And then here we have more beautiful tile work, single shower head, and some really cool panty tile on the floor in the shower. Directly across, we have a master closet. Plenty of space in here. And a small window for some more natural light. And as we exit the bathroom, there's the attic access for this portion of the house. There is a dedicated water closet. And I think that does it for the first floor. So the first floor we have the master, we have this closet, kitchen, dining area, and an office. Let's head upstairs and explore the rest of this beautiful home. Here we have some matching wood on this railing and the detail around the steps. I really like that touch. Nice looking banisters. As Soon as we reach the top of the stairs, we have a bedroom to the left, a bath, and a bedroom, two bedrooms to the right. So let's start on the right. This bedroom has an ensuite bath and it has a window that opens to the front of the property. There's that blue truck again. And there is that balcony right there. So I think it's just a design element. Unfortunately, we can't walk out on that balcony. So this is the ensuite bath with a nice modern light fixture. Tile, almost all the way to the ceiling. And an insert tub. And some really nice floor tile in this room as well. This room also has a good size closet. Take a look at that. And upstairs, bedrooms all have carpet. 
This is our second upstairs bedroom that also has windows that open to the front of the property. There's some pretty beautiful views. Neighbors have some really nice homes and out in this direction you get to see all of Washington. This bedroom also has a good sized closet. Let me open that up for you guys. Now let's explore the rest of the upstairs. There is a bath with a dual vanity. So this is kind of a hallway bath. I guess it's shared by all the upstairs. It has a nice large mirror, two sets of lights, toilet and the bath all share the same room. And this room also has a window with the views to the north, I guess, northeast. There are two more bedrooms that we haven't explored yet. So there's another bedroom in this direction. And all these bedrooms are pretty good size. You could comfortably get a bed and maybe a dresser in here. So this bedroom has the windows that open to the back of the property. And we get to see the neighbor's home. Looks like the neighbors are also building a two-story property. And I'm not sure about the grading yet. Looks like they've got, they got something interesting going on on this side of the house, but the rest of it is pretty flat. This room also has a closet. It's the same as the rest of the auxiliary bedrooms. And this is the last bedroom we have upstairs. Now, Call it a bedroom. This could be, could be anything room. It's a little larger than the master bedroom. Has access to your second level um, attic space and has a massive window that opens to the back of the property. And there's four cans and a massive fan in this room. So I guess you could use it as a, you know, as a second office, second master suite. It does not have an ensuite, but it is massive. So it could be a second living room. And there's a really good sized closet in here as well. I think that about does it for the inside of this property. Let's pop outside and show you guys what the backyard looks like. Folks, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you'd like to see more of this content, please drop me a comment in the description below. I'll make sure to get back to everybody. Um, this back door also has a built-in shade. Those magnetic shades are really, really nice. That is a great touch. So here we have a good-sized back patio. Turn around and give you guys a better idea. And then off that back patio, we have a good size uh, patch of grass and gravel goes all the way back to the back of this lot. We go to the corner to give you guys a better feel for the overall size of this backyard. I feel like this space is used really well. So from the corner, we have a line of trees back here. This retaining wall will have a privacy wall on top of it, typically. And that's the view of the back side of the house. The garage has a nice flat roof over here, which gives it some nice modern looking lines. And I would imagine if you wanted to, from the edge of that block wall to the edge of the garage, you could run a metal gate to completely enclose this area. It's a really good sized backyard with a good sized patio. I'll just walk to the other edge to give you guys a better feel for the overall space. 
and the side wall, the street is on the other side, so it's, it's a pretty tall wall. So this property is actually sunken in a little bit below the street level. And that's the wall that gives you some privacy from the front of the property. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. Hope it gives you a better feel for this property. And if, uh, if you're tuning in for the first time and you're thinking about relocating to Southern Utah, my contact information is in the description below this video. Get in touch with me. I would love to be of service to you. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.